Good morning, everyone. My name is Rob Martindale. I'm the Utility Program Manager with the Colorado Department of Transportation. I'd like to welcome everybody to today's workshop on right-of-way mapping and exchange, exchanging information for, uh, between the agencies. Uh, my colleagues, Joe Carter and Bob Pfeiffer, will, be, um, will also be presenting today, and I thank them for their time uh, to come in and actually be here. I uh, apologize that I can't be here in person, but uh, really want to emphasize how important an exchange like today is and uh, deliver our message from the department. Um, from my perspective as being the uh, utility program manager and all the assets and utilities that we manage at CDOT within our, our right-of-way system. Uh, if we look back uh, on the nation's history, government agencies have permitted public utility facilities to use and occupy the rights of way of roads and streets for many years. And accommodating these utilities within the rights of way uh, provides a more economic and reliable delivery of public services and commodities such as water, electricity, telecommunications, and gas. This relationship between utilities and public rights of way benefits the general welfare, safety, and health of our citizens. And that's very important uh, for CDOT as we permit these utilities on a daily basis. Accommodating utilities within state highway right of way means a reasonable uh, regulation system is in place, and CDOT does have a utility code that we adhere to. Um, but what the code is trying to accomplish is to not adversely affect the highway or traffic safety or otherwise impair the operation or the, even the aesthetic uh, quality or maintenance of the transportation facility. Uh, the review and installation of all new and replacement utilities or even abandoned utilities within our right-of-way must be considered by our CDOT staff when we're issuing permits. Um, until now, CDOT hasn't really had a good data repository and we've struggled to collectively bring all utility data that's installed in our right-of-way into a central uh, data collection or database. Um, now CDOT has recently implemented a new database where we can collect all utilities uh, installed in our right-of-way, whether it's project level information or whether it's just a permitted utility um, within our right-of-way. And so we've uh, established this database and we're working towards um, partnerships with utility companies to fill in gaps, uh, add information to our database as we move forward. Um, and recently we've innovated a uh, collection of, of mobile data, the mobile data platform uh, that's being deployed out into the right of way where we can then collect data at a higher accuracy level, somewhere in the centimeter grade level, um, and also pair that with um, locating technology to where we get uh, higher accuracy locates uh, as well. And so Innovation is driving um, data management, which is going to help CDOT manage our right of way and our utility corridors better in the future. Uh, I welcome everybody again. I thank you. And I will now turn it over to my colleagues, Joe and Bob. Thank you very much.